I'm back. That's right. Welcome to my first video of the year. So, I've got a new intro and a new sign. So, today's card is going to be, what else? A birthday card. I've actually made another card for a co-worker that retired, but I'm not going to show how to make that one because I kind of made it in a hurry and needed to get it, the card and the gift to the person that was retiring. So, what does our card look like that we'll be making today? This is the card that we'll be making. So, come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody, so now let's go ahead and bring up the supplies and we'll get started with the card. So now, my card measures 10 inches by 7 inches and I've gone ahead and taken it and scored it in half to make it a 5 by 7 card. And I also made a little score there because I was going to do something and change my mind. So, let's move on. And what I've done is I've used my print and cut with the silhouette to make my cardstock the color that I have it right now. Whenever I don't um, can't find out of all the abundance of cardstock that I have and I don't find what I'm looking for, I'll resort to using the print and cut feature to go ahead and print out the color that I want. And this particular um, color was one of the gradient. Um, colors that comes with your silhouette that you can use and when I do this yes you do end up using a lot of ink but that's okay with me because then I get the color that I'm actually looking for so now because I use the print and cut you can go ahead and use your paper trimmer if you've got some cardstock the color that you want or the pattern that you want to cut your pieces now, I'm going to give you the measurements that I use for the silhouette. They're not going to be exact measurements like you would use if you were cutting this out with your, and using your paper trimmer. So, my piece right here that we're going to lay on top of the card measures 4 and 3 quarters by 4.439. So, you, if you're going to use your silhouette and use your print and cut with this, you are going to take and make a square and cut it, um, I'm sorry, and make the measurement 4.75 for your width and for your length you're going to make it 4.439. And what I've also done is taken one of my Sizzix dies, and I apologize for the glare, it looks like this. I don't know the name of this one. I guess I took it out of the packaging without labeling it, so I have no idea what the name of it is. But that is what's going to go across the top here. So let's go ahead and tape this down. But before I want to tape this down, I want to make a mark where I'm going to actually put this because I'm going to take my piece down here, which I will give you the measurements in a minute. It's going to be right there. So I'm just going to make a light little pencil mark right here and up here and over here and over here so I know exactly where to put this. And then we'll get our tape out. And I've also done my inside sentiment using the print and cut and I used vellum to do that. And I had bought some glue that you could use with vellum and I could not find it anywhere so what I ended up doing was using my um, Xyron machine to put so that I could put the inside of my sentiment in and then right after I did that guess what I found the vellum glue that I bought at the last scrapbooking show that I went to it's called vellum bond so, it's okay. I was able to do it with the um, Xyron machine, but I would have liked to have found the glue that I had bought before that. Let's see here. 
Sorry about that noise. I dropped the tape gun. So now we're going to open up our card. And I'm just going to move this for just a second. And we're going to lay this down. So now I have to remember which way did I have this. Which I believe was right here. And we're just going to line these little marks up that I got. I put down here. And we're going to tape this down. Like so. So now, let's go ahead and put out our next layer, which, once again, I've used the print and cut. And this was actually a pattern that came with my silhouette. So I just filled in the pattern, and then I went ahead and used the text feature in the silhouette software. And I do have the silhouette designer edition. And wrote out my sentiment for the front of the card. So I just wrote out, Happy Birthday, Chef Green. My son is a chef, and his last name is Green. And that's what they call him at the restaurant. So I kind of wanted to stick to that theme. And that's going to go here. Now, I'm not going to put any or run this through anything, because I want this to be clear so you can, he can see it. And I'm going to come down a little bit, because I'm going to put a little embellishment there. I'm not sure what I'm going to put yet. But I am going to put something right there. Naturally, it can't be bling because this is a card for a male. But I'll think of something. So, I will line that up. And, oh, I guess I should tell you how much that measures. So, if you're going to cut this with your silhouette, you're going to cut this at 4.75. And you'll cut your height. So this will be your width. This will be 2.292. And I also, if I didn't mention, which I don't think I did, because I use white cardstock to do a lot of my print and cut, I like to ink the edges because sometimes when it cuts out, it does still give you that white around the edge there. So what I did was I used my Tim Holtz Distress ink, and this is the Pine Needles just so I could fill in and get out that white that was showing on the edge there. So let's get the ATG gun. As you can see, I have my measurements on the back there. So I could remember what I cut it at. And we're going to just lay this one down. Like so. So now we've got that one down. So now let's add our chef jacket. So now with this chef jacket, this was actually a card. And I will put the item number. I got this out of the Silhouette online store. And I'll put the item number up here. That's about right there in the video. And I didn't want to make it a card because it was a fold over and it had the brass down here. And every time I looked at it, it looked more like a onesie rather than a chef coat. So I decided to break it and cut it apart using my software so that I could just have just the one piece. And I did cut it out in white and then I went ahead and added the brads on the front. Because this is pretty much what his um, attire is, or his uniform for work. And then, I also just lightly inked the edges, and you won't be able to see it. I just inked them with my Stampin' Up! Uh, let me get that. Whisper White. Looks like this. So, And like I said, you can hardly see it, but it is there. And then for the collar, I decided to pop, make three of the collar and pop them up a little bit because I wanted it to stand out. So I am going to pop this up with some foam tape or foam dots. But before I do that, I want to add my chef hat. So for the chef hat, I actually cut three of them. And for the bottom one, this one here, 
I used some scraps as you can see from the back. I ungrouped the hat which made it a solid color and I removed the little slits here because what I wanted to do was once I put that on the bottom there I want to take a black pen and just go through there and maybe accent the hat a little bit so our hat is going to go right here and it also comes with a piece that goes on top here so if you want you can use your print and cut which is what I did and print out a name on the hat so we're gonna pop that up as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get some foam dots on here so we can pop this up on the bottom of the hat so this card is going to have a lot of dimension on it so I'm going to get my tweezers soon as I can find them and would you know I was just using them so, and now I can't find them I found my other pair but this isn't the pair I was just using so we're just going to line this up and place it like so. And now that I look at that, I don't know if I want that to pop up. Nope, I don't want that to pop up, so we're not going to use those. We'll save those. Maybe we'll pop it up. The back of the hat instead. So I'm just going to take those off and I'm just going to glue this on. So let me get my glue out and glue this on. And we don't want to get too much glue on there. I think I've got enough. And once again, I'll take my tweezers and I'll just line this up on here. And I did cut three of those and put them together. So now let's see what that looks like because I just got one foam dot on there to pop that up. And I think I like popping just the hat up itself better. So we'll add some more. And then we can add it to the card. So I'll get the tape backing off. i got to remember that I took the tape backing off some of the pieces already. And then... I'm going to bring this and hold it up and I think I'm going to put it right there. Like so. And there you have it. Okay, so now we're going to take and we're going to pop all that up. You can ignore what I have on the back. I'm, you know me. I'm good for using scraps. I say if you can use them, use them. Don't just throw your paper away because eventually you will find a need for it. So, we'll just get, we'll use the big ones and get one in the middle, one down here, and maybe one over here. And I think we're going to need one right there. So that should be enough. So I printed that out, but then I realized I wanted to add something else. So I didn't want to waste the cardstock. So I just took it and flipped it over. So now let's go ahead and we're going to add this to the card. And is that where I want to put it? 
I'm going to just bring this up a little bit toward me so I can see exactly where I want to lay it. And I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so there is the beginnings of our corridor. So now what I want to do is just go ahead and add some embellishments and I'll come back with the finished card and the envelope. Okay everybody, so I am back with the finished card and this is what I've done. Since I couldn't add any bling, I went ahead and added some candies right here. And then I had these charms that I picked up in New Orleans oh, a good four or five years ago with intentions to use them on a recipe book for my son and I did end up making the recipe book for him to put all of his recipes in but I didn't use the charms because guess what guys I couldn't find them so while I was looking for something to embellish the card with I found a box of charms that I had bought when I went to New Orleans so I added them to the card and as you can see, this one in the center says, Best Chef. So that's my card. And then I went ahead and used my We Are Memory Keeper 123 Punch Board and made an envelope. And I do have a video out here demonstrating how to use this. And I went ahead, since my card measures um, 5 by 7 there was a measurement for telling you what size to cut your envelope. And I cut the envelope, or cut your card stock rather. I cut that 9 and 7 eighths square. And then the first punch would be at 4 and an eighth. And then I went ahead and stamped out Happy Birthday. The more candles, the bigger the wish. And that is from a Stampin' Up! set. The Happy Birthday is from the Stampin' Up! Set, um, stamp set called Well Scripted. And the other one is the the more wishes and the bigger the more candles the bigger the wishes is from whimsical words and they're both um, stamping up. So because my card is three dimensional, I went ahead and did the box envelope. So that's it, everybody. This is it's not my first card of the year because I did have to do a retirement card and at the end of this video I'll show a picture of the card and gift that I made for one of my co-workers that retired I just didn't do a video on it because I had to hurry up and get it done and get it to the retirement party so this is actually my first birthday card for the year thanks for watching everybody bye